All right, Algebra 1 students, we're going to look at Unit 2, Lesson 10, Connecting Equations to Graphs, Part 1. All right, if you need to, these are longer uh, goals. Please uh, pause if necessary to get them written down, but I'm going to go through them and explain. I can describe the connections between an equation of the form ax plus by equals c, the features of its graph, and the rate of change in the situation. So features of the graph, the main thing we're looking at there are your vertical and horizontal intercepts, but there could be other things that we could use. I can graph a linear equation of the form ax plus by equals c. So just looking at, are you capable of graphing with it? And I understand that rewriting the equation for a line in different forms can make it easier to find certain kinds of information about the relationship and about the graph. Just by rearranging the problem, we can find the horizontal or the vertical intercept a little bit easier or other things. All right, so some vocabulary. We have equivalent equations. So when we have multiple equations that are the same solutions, they're equivalent. Our four-step order of operations, parentheses, powers or exponents, our left to right rule on multiplication and division, our left to right rule on addition and subtraction. We also have distribu distributing, where we can take multiplication or division to get rid of parentheses or large or the long division signs. Our balance rule, anything we do to one side, we have to do to the other to keep everything balanced. Our new thing here is rate of change. This is something that you should have started learning about in middle school. The amount of vertical change, up and down change, for every one unit of horizontal change going to the right. So if I move to the right, does my line go up or down, and how much does it go? And it's always focused on one unit of change when you're talking about what is that rate of change. All right, so here's the situation. You're going to try and figure this out and then bring your answers to class tomorrow, and then that will start our discussion. So Jada has $20 to spend on games and rides at a carnival. The games cost $1 each, rides cost $2 each. What you need to do is determine which equation represents the relationship between the number of games X and the number of rides Y. So the games are represented by X, the rides are represented by Y, that Jada could do if she spends all her money. So there's three options here. You need to pick which one you think best fits that situation. So it could be x plus y equals 20. It could be 2x plus y equals 20. Or it could be x plus 2y equals 20. So which of these three is the one that best fits the situation? Then explain what each of the other two equations could mean in this situation. So if you pick a as the correct one, then what could B and C actually represent? Or vice versa, if you pick B, what would A and C represent? Or if you pick C, what would A and B possibly represent? Bring your answers to class tomorrow, and then that's going to start our discussion as we look into how to use this. Thanks.